What's up, YouTube? I'm back again with my MT4G3. I just recently bought a Castle Creations external VEC for my new servo, high torque, high speed servo. Uh, requires six volts. Well, it doesn't require it, but it needs the six volts to, um, you know, do the best that it can as far as the ratings go on it. Well, anyway, I just wanted to explain to you guys in a quick video how I waterproof my external BEC and how I've heard of other people doing it that works just fine. Uh, one way if you can do it is uh, you can use uh, brush on electrical tape and basically you just want to fill in everything's wrapped with shrink wrap but if you just fill in this end and the other end and just fill it in so that it's basically rubber coated and nothing can get in at that point. Just make sure you have no tears or rips in your um, your shrink wrap here that it came with and make sure you keep it nice and clean and, and you know keep an eye on it but it's relatively thick and I don't think it's really gonna crack or um, or tear on you but anyway I'm not gonna use this stuff personally I'm gonna use this uh, easy bead it's basically an RTV sealant it's clear the reason I want to use clear is because on this end there is a green light indicating whether it's on or off and I don't want to cover that up in case I ever have an issue and I need to know so I am going to use this clear RTV. I'm going to stick a nozzle in there and basically just fill up each end and let it dry and do it as cleanly and neatly as I can. That way the thing basically still looks stock. It looks nice, looks clean, but it's going to be also waterproof. So that's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, you could also use, you know, like clear home, home cock, like for, you know, windows and doors and shit like that. So you can do that if you want, or you can use something like this clear you know rtv or if you don't care about the light you could use this black i don't know if they have clear in this but it's black electrical brush on uh electrical tape so one of those ways again you just fill up each side fill it up make sure it's airtight and uh let it dry and that should be that